guys, it's Andy here from DreamWest.co.uk and today I'm just going to be showing you how you can make a play and replay button in Flash. Um, I'm going to be using Action Script 2 for this because it's supported by both the earlier versions of Flash and the latest version of Flash, unlike Action Script 3, which isn't supported by earlier versions. Also, um, this, this code for creating a play button on Action Script 2 is a lot simpler than on Action Script 3, okay? There's a lot less code to type out. So, you're just going to open up Flash, create a new Action Script 2.0 Flash file, and here we are. I'm just going to move this up. Alright, I'm going to first off, I'll, uh, I've will i made a play button here in Flash. I'll just paste that in, like so. And now we're going to right click and hit Convert to Symbol, or you can press F8. And now we're going to type Play Butt, so we're going to name it, hit OK. Um, and now we're going to select it, we're going to go to actions, and then we're going to type in on, open in bracket, release, and that means when you uh, click on it, and then open in curly brace, go to and play, make sure that you've got go to as lowercase, and then and play have capitals at the start, that's quite important because it's case sensitive. Open in bracket, I'm just, this is where you select the frame that you want to play, like where you want to go to, which flip, um, frame you want to play from. So I'm just going to hit, I'm going to select two, close in bracket, semicolon, and close in curly brace. Check syntax, script contains no errors, good. Okay, now we're just going to deselect um, the button. We're going to click on the frame, we're going to select it, go to actions. There shouldn't be any code here now. We're going to type in stop, open in bracket, close in bracket, semicolon, like so. Now I'm just going to, uh, I'll just move this up. Great. And now, when we go to the first frame, it's going to automatically stop. And then that allows us to see this button, and this button is going to play it. Okay, so I'll just move this up here. And now I'll just make an empty frame. So now let's, we'll test it out in a moment. I'll just draw some, I'll just draw a little square going around the screen. Okay, let's try that out. Take off loop, hit, when we click it, it plays. Okay. Now, to make a replay button, it's exactly the same. I'm just going to open up Photoshop, I'm just going to take this replay button, I'm going to put it in there, going to convert it to a symbol, call replay but hit OK. going to select it, go to the actions, on release, Open bracket, go to and play two. Oops, two. And then close in bracket, no errors, good. And now I'm just going to deselect it, click on the frame, and hit stop. Oops, okay, there we go. And now when we compile and play the animation, have a play button, it'll play, and we'll have a replay button like so. Okay, so I hope that helped. Um, there's a lot more tutorials on the way. Visit www.dreamwise.co.uk. Visit the forum. I'm going to post the... Uh, I'll post the code in the forum. It's very short, but I might as well just post it there anyway. Um, and also register on the forum, subscribe and whatnot. So I've got a lot more tutorials coming very soon. Okay, then. have a nice day.